All right, what's up, internet world? Uh, this is Blaine, and I'm super excited because today I got a package. And this package is not just any package, it is a package from Mesa Boogie. So we're gonna uh, go ahead and unbox this bad boy right here. The goal is to be able to use this for tour and for recording. You might be asking, what is it from Mesa Boogie? Could it be an amp? Nah, probably not an amp. A little small of a box. It is full of packing peanuts though. That's right. I ordered a box full of packing peanuts and Mesa makes the best ones. Ugh. There we go. That's the box I wanted to see. Mesa Engineering, hand-built in Petaluma, California. All right, so we got more. There we go. Making it harder on myself. All right. So, first thing we have when we open the box. We have a quick start guide for the Cab Clone IR. That's right. I am the proud new user of a Mesa Cab Clone IR. So, this is a little bit of a different beast than what is built into my amp currently. Right now, if you can see that in the corner there, I have a little Mesa Mark 525 head and a speaker cabinet. Uh, the Mesa Mark 525 head does have a built-in cab clone. It is very uh, analog and uh, not quite what I'm looking for in terms of being able to record and do live performances. So, the cab clone IR, should remedy all those issues that I have being able to record my amp head directly and use it for a silent stage when playing live but still getting my amp tone so here it is this is the Mesa cab clone IR this is the 8 ohm version if I'm not mistaken so it's got a reactive load and it has selector switch here for eight different cabs and then uh, another bank switch which I'm assuming gives you eight more and this dial basically lets you pick with the LED indicating which one basically you have three knobs you have your input and your output and then you have your presence knob uh, looks pretty freaking sturdy all, all metal, got nice feet on the bottom there. A little logo here, and looks like an exhaust fan. On this side is pretty cool, because what we have is we have a list of all of the different types of cabinets that are modeled here. So bank A is for a dynamic mic and a ribbon, and then bank B is with a condenser and a ribbon, so you're probably gonna get a little thinner, more cutting sound in the first one, and then you're probably gonna get a more fuller, richer sound, uh, frequency-wise, not necessarily richer as in quality, um, on bank B there. And we have a 412 Recto Standard, a 412 Recto Traditional, 212 Recto, recto Horizontal, it's hard to say Recto without sounding weird, um, a 112 Recto Cab, and then uh, another 112 cab, 212 Lone Star cab, a 112 Lone Star 23, and a one, 112 California Tweed 23. So a lot of different options for cabs. Um, I tend to use single 12s or 212s just uh, personally. So that's probably what I'm gonna start with when I plug this bad boy in. Um, if we look here on this other side, we have a whole bunch of knobs and switches. We got a headphone out. We got a line through out for a dry signal, which is awesome. We have our DI out. We have a phase switch, ground lift, USB. I think that's for you to be able to load your own IRs, which I'm super excited about because I have a couple that I use all the time anyway uh, with my digital amps and I want to see how they sound with my actual amp head. Uh, MIDI controls, which I probably won't use. We have our input from our speaker amp 
and then our output to our speaker, which is optional, which is nice, which means we can run this without necessarily running a speaker. And then uh, we have a line in as well. So I guess you could run your guitar through, for instance, like a digital modeler or a pedal board with a, uh, some sort of pedal board type amp or preamp and then into this guy, which would be fun to try. I'm excited. So this is my, my new toy, the Mesa Cab Clone IR. And uh, stick around. We're gonna be doing some fun testing videos here soon, I think, cause I wanna play with it. All right, take care guys.